um, so, uh, it's Saturday again. I uh, hope you don't mind the change of scenery. I'm, um, I'm at home, alone. Um, well, my mom's upstairs, she's sick, so, um, yeah, but other than that, my siblings are all at my brother's football games, so I'm gonna talk here for a while. Um, yep, it's Saturday again, so that means it's another time for another discussion of, um, all the things that are going on in the fandoms, and my fandoms. Uh, so, um, first up... Um, so, um, so Hunger Games news, uh, the soundtrack got revealed today, um, a few days ago, and it includes such artists as Imagine Dragons, uh, the Lumineers, uh, Sia, and Christina Aguilera. So, um, in addition to Coldplay and, like, a whole bunch of other artists that I can't remember right now. Um, so that's really cool. Um, I can't wait to hear the soundtrack. It comes out November 19th, so I'll be sure to buy it. Um, second thing, um, we got some casting news for Mockingjay. Um, Castor and Pollux, uh, were cast, and as, uh, as were the Leagues, um, uh, 1 and 2. Um, I can't remember the names of their actors right now. But, I mean, I gotta, and I mean, I don't really remember the characters either, um, I gotta go reread Mockingjay, but, like, they look good, um, I'm interested in seeing how Mockingjay comes out, but Catching Fire is my favorite book in the trilogy, so, um, I mean, I'm far more interested in that, I can't wait to see that movie, oh my gosh, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, second of all, Percy Jackson news, um, so, um, there is a new, there are new pictures, like, older Percy and Annabeth released, um, uh, earlier this week, and, um, I like them. Uh, they look, they do look like older versions of their, um, the pictures, to, like, during the PJO series, so that's fine. Um, and they, I think, and it, they kind of resemble Wally and Artemis in, out of costume from Young Justice. Like, they look like them. Yeah, Annabeth has, like, the long... It, they just have the general, like, face shapes. I don't know. They look like them. It's weird. And also there was a, um... Leak uh, for House of Hate. Like, they were... The, apparently some people in Brazil got the book early, so they were translating it from Portuguese to English for us. For us Americans. And there was a big spoiler leaked. Um... I'm not going to talk about that, because I don't know if it's real or not. Um, when I get House of Hades, I will talk about it. But, all I have to say is, I think, yeah, Rick Ryden knows he has an older audience. So, don't get your panties in a twist, or whatever, about that. Um, anyway. Teen Titans Go. Uh, the episode this week was called The Left Leg, and it um, featured, or like, so Cyborg built this giant robot for the Titans to go into, and so they could fight Gizmo and his army of evil robots, and um, Robin got stuck in the left leg, and uh, he thought that was lame, and so he decided to make the left leg even stronger. Then, um, or, like, modify the left leg to make it stronger and everything. Have, like, rocket launchers, whatever. It, it was cool. I liked how it, it, um, he was able to defeat Gizmo single-handedly, so to speak. Um, yeah, it wasn't re as enjoyable as Colors of Reagan, but I thought it was a good episode. Um, and then, shoot. Do I have... Oh, yeah. Um, it's just random news. Um, uh, acclaimed voice, voice actress E.G. Daly, um, who I know from playing Mockingbird in um, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, is on the TV series The Voice, which is a singing competition. 
so she um, she got through the audition. She chose uh, Blake as her coach. Um, so that's cool. Um, like, yeah. And she did, like, one of her voices on the show. So, I like, they were totally freaking out. So that was awesome. Um, okay, so let's get to Legend of Korra. Uh, the episode this week was, um, Civil Wars Part 2. Um, the conclusion to Part to the Civil Wars thing, and, um, yeah, how many of you saw the Unalak thing coming? I mean, come on, he was, he's a jerk. We already, we all knew that. He was just using Korra and everything, so that was, mm. yeah, we all saw it coming. I'm surprised Korra didn't, frankly. Um, <laughs> Meanwhile, Asami is still awesome, and Tenzin is still the best dad ever. In this series, at least. He he finds Iki in um in a cave with some sky bison, which are the cutest things ever. And like he he and Iki talk for a little bit about Tenzin's siblings and Iki's siblings, and it's all very cute and that and then they come back and join, and I just, uh, and then Boomy, like, stands in front of Aang's statue, and he's like, um, I hope I'm making you proud, and Kaya just, like, comes up on him, and he's like, yeah, you do, and, the, and she's like, yeah, you do, and then she gives him a hug, she, uh, she's a hugger like her mom. Uh, I want a moment with, like, Katara and Kaya, that would be so cute. I want to get flashbacks to them as kids. But anyway, um, the Boleyn and Eska situation is, um, escalating, if you don't mind my, uh, pun there. Um, she wants him to, wants to marry him. Okay. And she gives him his betrothal necklace and dresses him up like them, which is funny. And then even Pabu is there, is dressed like them. And then, um, and like, well, somehow Bolin, like, gets away from her, and the last part of the ep- the last, like, shot of the episode is, um, it's her with, like, makeup streaming down her face, waterbending toward him on their boat. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hell hath no fury like an Aska scorned. Bolin, you better watch out, my friend, because you are in a pickle. Quite the pickle. Um, anyway, uh, so, so Cora, um, Cora's dad gets put in jail, um, and, like, taken to the north, but she frees him, despite her, despite her father's warnings of not doing anything rash. That was, yeah, that was Rash Cora. Um, and she, like, threatens the judge at his trial. It, like, puts him in Naga's mouth. <laughs> it's funny. Um, or, like, Cora's mom got free, but Cora's dad, nope, nope. He's no, but she frees him, and then, and Varric is still, like, the best new character. Um, and, like, I can't wait to see more of um, more of one, the first avatar, and, like, and what is with that mysterious statue with, like, the swirly things? I want to see more of that, or what is that thing? I don't know. Um, I don't really remember much of this episode. I'm gonna have to watch it again, except, yeah, I think I've said all it needs to be said. Um, next week, I'm gonna be talking about, um, like, uh, the Omniverse premiere, um, the new Legend of Korra, um, the Ultimate Spider-Man special. So, I'm probably gonna be doing a video on Sunday. And then, um, and then the next week, I'm gonna be talking about House of Hades and the Epic Rap Battles of History. Probably brief mention that. Or, of course, we're going to be talking about Teen Titans Go there the previous week. But, like, 
and then uh yeah i'll see you